Hey, this is what I look like. Um, since putting my Hard Space Shipbreaker playthrough on pause, I've been going through and trying to collect as many data drives as possible because there's a lot of like cool little stories and lore in those that I want to talk about a bit. So this is going to be the first video where I do that and this is going to be about two stories that play out over the course of about five drives, mostly in the uh, links tabs if you look at your uh, data miner app. So this first one is actually one of the very first drives that I got and it piqued my interest and I wondered if there was going to be more details about this story in other drives. And so it's a rail mail to Lynx HR, RE, employee termination. And it says, attention, effective immediately, employee Mikey Murphy of Operations Division is no longer an employee of Lynx Corporation due to insubordination, corporate dissension, and misuse of company funds. The search for his replacement is already in motion. Carry on. Eduardo Matthew Ferris, who is the HR director. When I first read this, I kind of felt like this is a weird um, rail mail to get with no more context. I wonder if more will come up, uh, and more will. You'll notice that in the two field up on the top, it says Lynx HR, Lynx Operations Leads, and Lynx Employee, yada, 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 43-S. There's two other messages that involve 43-S. Here's one of them. To Link's executive team, Link's PNP leads, and employee, yada yada yada, yada 43 S. From Dr. Kaysen Cole, RE test results, performance and productivity optimization music program. I guess that's what PNP is performance and productivity. Greetings, all. As our research suggested, the test results from forcing psychologically profiled music into the helmets of all salvage and reclamation division employees for the duration of their shifts has been quite promising. Our attempts at matching a specific genre of music based on each subject's psychological profile has in fact resulted in a dramatic increase in performance and productivity in addition to a reduction in incidents of death and dismemberment by 12%. We've also noticed a number of these individuals humming while working, which is a proven expression of job satisfaction and a heightened state of well-being. Well done, team. Keep it up. Sincerely, Dr. Case and Cole. Uh, Doctorate of Psychology, Director of Performance and Productivity, Lynx. So, no more mention of Mikey Murphy, uh, but this is about, obviously when you're playing the game, there's music that a lot of people have responded very well to in the community, um, playing as you salvage, and if you, you know, you bop your head hard enough um, while you're playing, the radio fritzes out and you get some, like, polka or something, I can't remember what it is. So here's the third rail mail that involves 43-S, and it also includes Link's tech support and Link's operation leads. From Mikey Murphy. RERE -R -E, tech support ticket yada yada yada, salvage and reclamation division helmet music malfunction. Hey there tech support friends, hope you like the donuts I sent over for helping us out with that bug in the last cloning software update. That was a doozy, huh? Yikes, lol. And don't feel like you need to pay me back. I used what was left of our petty cash from last quarter. If you don't use it, you lose it, right? Anyways, an exec from PNP pinged me personally to look into the support ticket. Apparently when the helmets of the salvage and reclamation division workers take damage from significant impacts, the radio goes all haywire and it's screwing up their critical research. I suggested that maybe SNR should train their employees better so as to reduce the number of times that these significant impacts occurred. He was not amused. What is with these Lynx exec types? Can't they take a joke? Anyway, if you could give me something, anything, to toss back over the wall to Mr. Fancy Pants, I sure would appreciate it. Thanks again, gang. Murph. Mikey Murphy, Senior Operations Manager, Earth Village, Employee Safety and Equipment, Lynx. So, the whole point of the data drives, right, is that they don't give you a full picture of what's going on. They're just little snippets. But these are three rail mails connected to this Mikey Murphy guy. Uh, there might be other things that this guy has done to get fired, but everything mentioned in the termination letter is in this rail mail. Insubordination may be marginal, but if Lynx is super serious, if he's being so flippant about things, um, or like, you know, just asking, give me anything to give to this guy, maybe that's insubordination. Corporate dissension, you know, he's saying this guy doesn't have a sense of humor, maybe. Uh, misuse of company funds, which I think is really funny, because he bought donuts out of petty cash. Um, it's all there! So, uh, too bad for Mikey Murphy, I guess. Uh, you are unemployed out in the solar system. 
So here's a second story, and now this one is a, maybe a little bit more of a stretch, uh, but bear with me. The first three data drives were all uh, device names, links, offside, backup, and then a four digit number. This is the fourth of four links, offsite backups. Um, it's from Ian Meyer Smithy, RE New Jingle. It said, I'm going to get into character. Hey guys, while I'm vacationing on Mars, I decided to have a little fun. I paid the house band at one of the bars I've been frequenting 50 creds to stay late one night after the bar closed to record something. It's a little cheesy at first, but I think there could be something there. I think it could really tug the nostalgia strings on some of those blue collar types out there in orbit and get us that bump in sales we're targeting. Poor bastards. Anyways, have a listen and let me know what you think. Big love from Mars! Ian. P.S. File attached. P.S. I am drunk as I type this. My personal note on that is that there is no file attached, so I went looking through some of the other links drives uh, and I found this. Fits the bill. So this drive is actually from a different set of Lynx drives and it's called Backup Work. Um, and it's owned by the cryptic me. And as I guess a bit of a postscript to this all, uh, there was one other thing on this drive, which is another rail mail that's not really connected to the, the jingle stuff at all. And it's a memo from a Mortimer Corny in internal communications, RE reminder, solar day statutory holiday canceled. Greetings, friends and valued co-workers. Just a friendly reminder that all Lynx employees, excluding the executive team, are expected to work on Solar Day this year. What an exciting way to celebrate and honor the true lifeblood of our solar system. Let's do our sun proud and continue our pursuit of pushing humankind deeper into the galaxy one additional day this year. Exciting times indeed. Your pal, Morty. Mortimer Corny, Communications Director, Internal Communications, Lynx. So those are just two brief uh, peeks behind the curtain, I guess, into other divisions of Lynx, how Lynx operates outside of the, the Cutter's immediate gameplay experience, and I thought they were pretty cute. And so I'm going to do some more of these videos in the future, looking at some of the other data drives um, that will hopefully include less reading on my part. One of the things I really appreciate about the data drives in uh, Hardspace Shipbreaker is that they give these really, really close looks at these very brief moments throughout the solar system in the world of hard space shipbreaker there are one or two like literal like history textbooks or whatever else in there to give you a, an overarching view of some of the things that's happening at a macro level but these micro level stories um are are really nice actually and i i think that they give the player an opportunity to kind of piece together a more human understanding of the setting and um uh, it's really uh, an exercise in looking almost like at, at primary texts. I think that's really fun, uh, especially as like an academic type. Anyways, thanks again, folks. Um, I will see you next time, I guess. Bye.